Fuck. My head. What the hell? Where am I? Ah. Uh, white guy. He'll be easy to scan. Hey, buddy, over here. You look like you can use a guide. Alright. Guess I don't really have much of a choice. Welcome to New Guinea my fat American friend. I'm still not quite sure how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was doing vodka shots out of some dudes. I mean, girls asshole. Anthony was egging me on. Then everything went dark. Ah, I see you are already familiar with our foreplay rituals. Who is this Anthony? Your boy Slave? Slave? No, Anthony isn't black, he's my best friend. He let me start living in his basement after he graduated from Framingham State. Say no more. I can already sense he has imbued you with much of his cum power. You wish to share it with the children of New Guinea? Let's fuck him. Really? Oh, I knew I liked you from the start. What the fuck? No. I was kidding. I'm not fucking any children. We'll see about that. Come now, I need to take you to immigration so you can be processed. Oh fuck. Get in the car, Jake. The general wants to see you personally. Never mind this hobo. Whatever you say, man. Hello, my name is General Neves. I am the president of New Guinea. Hey. So, you want to become a citizen of the great nation of Papua New Guinea? Well, yeah. I feel like it would be my only chance to fuck, you know? I'm 26 years old and the only girls I've ever touched have restraining orders out on me. It says here in your police record that you were arrested in 2019 for armed robbery and sexual assault. Would you care to elaborate? That bitch owed me for two weeks supply of pills, she got what she deserved. Now look, Jake, I'm gonna level with you here. We in the PNG pride ourselves on our exceptionally high STD and sexual assault rates. We're no Brazil. But we're up there. But you've got to cut it out with this talk about girls, it just ain't right. What do you mean? I thought you were all about fucking here? We are. Boys, young boys. But it takes many years of hard railing in the ass before you can stick your cock in anyone's asshole all willy nilly. My grandfather, Zeke, didn't have his first boy slave until he was 75 years old. Excuse me? Are you telling me you don't fuck chicks on this island? How does anyone have children? Papua New Guinea is a subsidiary of the Sumerian demon worshipping Shadow Council. It's run by Satan. Some guy named Chris Mills is their representative. I don't know how he does it but the story goes like this. Every Christmas Eve, Chris Mills sneaks into the homes of every little girl in New Guinea and sprinkles them with his magic seed. Next thing you know, the whole island is blessed with a slew of unexplainable pregnancies. It is the miracle of God. That sounds like straight up pedophilia to me. Mock our sacred rights one more time and they will have you deported fat ass. Sir, his accommodations have been prepared. Good, take him away. <clears throat> Pull yourself together, Donald. Satan, is that you? You wish, motherfucker. It's me, God. Oh Jesus. Listen fucktard, I have new intel from a reliable source that the Sumerian demon worshipping Shadow Council is conducting illicit operations out of Papua New Guinea. Child sex trafficking, drugs, all the good stuff you dabbled in the US. You've been exiled to this realm of purgatory for too long. I need your skill set. So I'm willing to pardon you for your failure to stop the rise of President Pence. If you help me track down the council's operative in the region. Mills. Chris Mills. Say the word, God, and he's all yours. What do you want, Mike? You know how busy I've been with the Syrian civil war. Forgive me, sir. I sense, I sense a disturbance. What? Split it out. An energy I haven't felt in a long time. Trump. He's back. God released him. Just as I predicted. It's time I paid the old man a visit.
Her Mumford. My goddamn hernia. I shouldn't have eaten that double McChicken Supreme in Thailand. Fuck. Oh fuck. I'm getting too old for this teleportation shit. Dad, are you okay? You've been convulsing and frothing at the mouth for a good 10 minutes now. Oh for fuck's sake. I wake up from an orange spray tan nightmare to this homosexual mess? Where is your brother? I want to talk to that hot topic drag queen little shit stain. Dad, we've been over this. You kicked Lucifer out of heaven like 6,000 years ago. Did you forget to take your antipsychotics again? I'm sorry Satan. Please come back to me. Surprise, bitch. It's a piece of cake to get through the magical barriers around this place since dad started hitting the booze again. All these years and you still let him give you shit. How pathetic. Hey, I don't need to take that from you. Jesus Christ would you shut the fuck up? Lucifer. Are you here to help Papa shape his Paiukes? Like good old times? The fuck you talking about you crazy degenerate? No. I'm here to tell you to back off of this Shadow Council business. You're messing with powers you don't understand. But I'm God. I understand all things, especially the tone of love in my favorite son's voice. Oh brother. I told you to shut up, slut. Shazam. I hate my life. It was good of the general not to arrest you on the spot. Yeah whatever, can you just tell me where we're going, sergeant? Neem's daughter Ruby has agreed to let you stay with her at her apartment downtown. If it were up to me, you would immediately be placed in a come power training camp. His daughter you say? Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Here we are. It sounds like someone is crying in there. Probably just a boy slave in the middle of his training. Oh. Alright then. Look, Jake. There's still a lot you need to understand about New Guinean culture. And the purpose of your mission. Do you even know why the Shadow Council summoned you here? That's what I've been trying to explain to you all. I wasn't summoned here, I was kidnapped. The last thing I remember before waking up at the airport in Port Mosby, I was hanging out with friends back home. I guess I had too much to drink. There was this flash of light, I remember hearing a strange, high-pitched voice. And that was that. To be honest, I was hoping you could tell me more, Nims has been very tight-lipped. But orders from the top are to keep you safe at all costs. You're very high priority. Anyway, I have to get going now. I'll give you Ruby's cell phone number and she can buzz you in. Oh wow. All ten digits this time. Jeez. Jake, is that you? I have never seen such an obese man before. Now's my chance. <coughs> I pack you a new guinea number. I told Nims I'd have the shipment ready by next week. Yes. Hello. Vlad, is that you? Thank goodness, I thought the council got to you too. Donnie, how can this be? You've been dead for four years. I was, I mean, I am. Look, I have a lot of explaining to do. I never meant to leave you hanging like that. I've been caught up in a lot of shit these past few years. Believe me. Believe you. Believe you. That's what you always say. You have no idea what a headache Pence has been since you've been gone. I saw your body. We all thought you were dead. Me, Kim, Erdogan, everyone. How can I know this is really you? How can I know this is real, Don? I'm so sorry, Vlad. I promise that I will explain everything. How soon can you be in New Guinea? Alexei. Yes, sir. Prepare my jet. At once, sir. I can't believe you're really here. After all these years. I'm sorry for blowing up at you on the phone like that. I was just in shock, you know. No hard feelings. I would have reacted the same way. So are you going to tell me how you came back from the dead, only to end up in the shit stain country? 
You should come home with me, to Moscow. I'll take care of you. Pence can't reach us there. It's not that simple, Vlad. I'm in debt to God. I'm here on a mission for him. To track down an agent of the Shadow Council. Someone I've contended with before. Who? You don't mean... Mills. Indeed. God believes he's back in power here on Earth. This time, it's New Guinea. I'm under close surveillance by the Angel Brigade, that's why I had to meet you here. Isn't God like omnipotent or something? Can he see what you're doing all the time? He hasn't really been himself lately. Let me get this straight. You want to place your father under a 72-hour psychiatric hold as per 5150 welfare institution codes? Fuck yeah I do. Okay. Can I have the patient's name for record? We have nothing for him. Yes. Yahweh. Y-H-W-E-H. Aha. Uh -huh. Jones. Yahweh Jones. Okay, Mr. Satan, you can go now. Thank you. Mr. Jones. I'll show you, you fucking rabbits. I'll tend all of you. Oh boy. Last I heard, he was institutionalized. So I'm kind of flying solo here. Yikes, so the old man finally cracked, huh? Looks like it. So you see why I need your help, Vlad? Just tell me what I have to do, Don. General, I'm going to want to do some redecorating in here. Of course, sir. And I promise, the My Little Pony ball pit is being installed on schedule. To my specifications? Yes, sir. Twelve years old and under. Permitted only. One more thing. The boy, Jake. He's ready for you. Excellent. I will leave at once. Shazam. Teleportation is still so cumbersome in this body. Okay, just pull it together Jake. You're just gonna strip naked, lie down on Ruby's bed and ask her to join you. Well, maybe I should keep my underwear on. But a cock ring would be a nice touch. Oh fuck. Excuse me, but how old is Ruby? Like 25. What are you some disgusting pervert? That's way too old. Dude, what the fuck? Who are you? How did you get in here? The name's Mills. I'm one of Anthony's best friends. I don't remember you. Ugh, never mind. This isn't even my true form, Jake. Behold. Shit! It sure feels good to finally shed that pathetic mortal body. Jesus Christ. What the fuck did you just say? Don't ever mention that filthy slut's name, or any of his Jew rat family. Jew? Jesus? Why do you hate them? My real name is Seth, I am the Egyptian god of chaos. That stupid fucker, Yahweh, and his whole degenerate tribe are the cause of my civilization's downfall. If it weren't for the Jews and their stupid egotistical cult religions, Egypt would be running the world right now. I guess I never really thought about that. You don't look like you do much thinking in the first place. Come on, fat ass, I have something I need to show you. Krikato. This is Trippy, man. What the fuck is this place? This is the dimensional plane in which you were born, Jake. What? No. That's impossible, I've never been anywhere like this. This place is as hot as an oven. This is the realm of Kerr, the Sumerian netherworld, where the bodies of the dead come to rest after death. When God and his disciples ravaged Egypt and killed my siblings, I had no choice but to come here. What are you saying? Jake, I created you in this realm and cast you out into the mortal plane, so that someday, I could find you again. What? Jake, I am your father. Oh shit. Mr. Jones, I'd like to run some tests on you. Is that alright? 
You stay away from my chili plants, vermin. You'll make a hearty stew, the lot of you. I'll take that as a yes. Now, this will sting a little bit, but this electrical pulse should help jog some of the memories related to your psychotic break. On three, I will administer the shock. One. Maybe a. Two. Good old fashioned. Three. What the hell? I'm 2,000 years old again. Well, look who finally decided to show up. Isis? How is this possible? Where am I? Stop playing games. Just admit that you're late. Again. But I guess that's what I should expect from you, Yahweh. Always off living around in the desert. Doesn't have time for a rich city girl like me. You will forget that I am late. Oh please, you know that shit doesn't work on me. Now come on, Seth is waiting for us. Seth. Birthday boy. Ugh. You're lucky I got him a present from both of us. Seth, thank you for being there for me when Isis and I broke up. I know it was tough for you, us being siblings and all. Osiris, please. No for real. You're a good little bro. The best. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. Hey, Seth. Osiris. Hey, Isis. Yahweh. What's up, guys? Yahweh, why don't you come with me? Give these two some time to catch up? Uh, yeah, sure, man. Alright, Seth. Don't prank him too hard this time. He still has nightmares about those hippos. Sure, sis. Dude, what are we doing down here? Aren't tombs like forbidden or something? A lot of things are forbidden that we still choose to partake in. Murder, incest, bestiality. Or... Your relationship with my sister. I'm sick of you prancing around Memphis like you own the place. And I'm pissed that my brother would be such a quick that he'd let it happen. You feel the poison taking effect now? I laced that drink you had earlier. Soon, you'll be under my control for two whole hours. Plenty of time to commit a murder. Wouldn't you say? Oh no, what's happening to me? Now. You will kill Osiris. And my sister. I will. Master. Oh god. I remember now. It really wasn't me. Which means Seth is still out there. It worked. I mean, of course it would. Doctor, please get me the fuck out of here. Well, better get started on all this paperwork. Let's see. We got Syria, Yemen, and Afghanistan. Priority 1. Ugh, I should really have Beelzebub take care of all of this crap. The fuck? Surprised to see me you skeevy little bitch? I oughta wring your neck you good for nothing backstabbing shit stain. What the? You're supposed to be institutionalized. Damn it. I was so close to getting heaven signed off to me. I had the paperwork ready to go and everything. I knew you were the one who's been fucking poisoning my mind with dark magic. You better not have laid a finger on Jesus. What the fuck? Poison you. You're the one who's been acting psycho and giving Jesus shit lately. I don't need to poison you. Face it, Dad. You're going senile. Sooner or later I'm gonna be in charge upstairs. Like I should've always been. But if it wasn't you, then... I gotta talk to Mikhail. Lieutenant. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be keeping an eye on the old man. Forgive me, Archangel. But there's been a development. That's never a good thing. Alright, don't leave me hanging, Gabriel. What in God's name happened? God is the problem, sir. He's gone missing. 
please tell me you have some good news, ref. Afraid not, sir. Jesus never showed up for his debriefing this morning and I couldn't find him in his quarters. In fact, his whole energy signature seems to have disappeared from heaven entirely, man. You two are my top lieutenants in the Angel Brigade. And you're telling me you misplaced the Almighty? And the Messiah has vanished from this dimension. What the hell do I pay you two for? You don't pay us at all. Yeah man, don't act all high and mighty here. You know how hard it's been to contend with the Shadow Council after all those budget cuts last quarter. I was chasing a damn chicken-headed freak, Astaroth, all over the fucking US. I can only be in one place at once. Alright, alright, enough. Uriel, Metatron, Sariah. We've lost a lot of good angels this year, one way or another. Yeah man, it doesn't help that half our department's budget goes towards God's personal booze and coke fund. Dude, that guy can put away like 12 liters of Everclear without getting tipsy. It's unholy. It's no secret that Yahweh's substance abuse has been getting out of hand lately. But that's why this is all the more concerning to me. He's been irrational and belligerent to Jesus. And everyone in heaven to some degree. He's even been pining after that bastard son of his. Ephraim? Solomon. Bon Jovi? No. What? No. That little prick, Lucifer. Mike, this situation has Shadow Council written all over it. If we went down to hell right now, I bet we'd find the both of them held prisoner in one of Lucifer's perverted sex dungeons. Damn it. I knew the Council has been plotting something. There have been strange energy readings coming out of New Guinea for the past couple years, but we didn't have the resources to go down there and check what's up. I agree with Raf, this whole situation is fishy. God damn it, looks like I can kiss that pension goodbye. What the? Where's? Jesus. I swear if he dropped me in the middle of that Thai brothel again. Fuck! Siberia? Well at least it's something different this time. Damn. It sure is cold though. Alpha Bravo, you can call on the dropship now. Target is in sight. Roger that, Alexei. Beaming him up now. What the fuck? Stand by a knowledge. Kuka. This is... a lot to process. Oh please. You know what was a lot to process? Managing to send a life form through interdimensional space only to find out it was shot into some fat white kid's body in Western Mass. Not my ideal. Hey, at least I am not the one who goes around impregnating little girls. Oh did Nemes tell you that story? Pretty convincing huh? Look, I'm the god of chaos. As far as I am concerned, you mortals are just my playthings. So what if I impregnate Papuan girls with magic dust? I fucking invented the Papuans. What do you mean? Not all of humanity was created by God you know. In fact, most of you fuckers predate him by many millennia. The Shadow Council is a shell of its former self. Back in the day, when Ishtar ran the show, it instilled fear across the civilized world. But now it's run by that filthy prostitute Lucifer and his cabal of Abrahamic demons. But I was able to infiltrate their organization by posing as a lesser demon in possession of another young white boy from Massachusetts. Chris Mills. Poor kid was barely out of the womb before I had taken over. But why not just join this council, or whatever, as yourself? Why mess with so many people like this? Lucifer might hate his father, but he's still a son of Abraham. He would have routed me out to God. I had to lay low. And I had to keep an eye on you. You're the key to unleashing the full potential of my Papuan slave army, Jake. Yikes. Ugh, where the fuck am I? My head is killing me. Ah, I see you're finally awake. Don't bother trying to teleport out of there. That prison is equipped with a divine power dampener. State-of-the-art Russian tech. Dude, I don't know what beef you have with me. 
Don't you know who I am? Jesus Christ? Ring any bells? You people love me. This isn't about what my people love. This is about who I love. And how you're gonna help me get your father off his back. For good. We're wasting a lot of energy keeping the airship floating over Moscow. I just wanna have you back, Donnie. I figured it out, motherfucker. Now you're gonna pay for going behind my back. And Trump's next. Oh fuck. So no. Fuck! We go to Vipnivorich? What are you saying? Just get me out of this thing. I can barely... think. Putin said to hold you here and keep administering the treatment until you complied. I told Putin I don't know how to release souls my dad has trapped in purgatory. He doesn't share much with me these days. I don't know what to tell you, just please, don't shock me again. I don't get any enjoyment out of this, Mr. Christ. But even if you have fallen out of God's favor, we believe he has encrypted your DNA with fail-safe codes to all of his divine powers. I will get those purgatory expulsion codes, one way. Or another. Fuck! Why do you say I am the key? To this slave army? I created the Pappy ones out of leftover matter strands from Earth's dimension. But you are different, Jake. You're flesh and blood from my own being, forged in the sweltering sands of this place, Kerr. The one realm Yahweh fears to tread. You can bridge the gap between this realm and Earth. And allow the malevolent souls of this place to inhabit my Papuan child army, imbuing them with tremendous power. God, his angels, the Shadow Council. None of them stand a chance against the raw power this realm possesses. Now. It's time. Nferkertet. What the hell is this place? The gateway between worlds. The souls of the dead are yearning for you to release them, Jake. Set them free. With your life. Oh god. The intel Vlad was able to provide me says this mill's character frequently passes down this street. But here I am, staking this place out for a week now and still nothing. Well that takes care of that pathetic fucker. Guess I'd better find memes. There he is. Looks like a bad hombre to me. Alright, time to put this escapade to rest. He's been in the bathroom for hours. I don't even want to know what he's been doing in there. I need him out of there though. That's it, I'm just gonna barge in there and kick him out. He's gone, oh man. Dad's gonna kill me.